A meeting between the Niger Labour Congress NLC, Trade Union Congress TUC and the federal government has ended without an agreement. The meeting at the instance of the federal government was intended to reach an agreement with organized labor after President Bola Tinubu's announcement that petrol subsidy would cease to be in place by the end of June. Speaking after the meeting on Wednesday night, Delia Lake, a member of the government's team, said the meeting was engaging but did not provide details. We had a very robust engagement. Uh, you know, we cross-fertilized ideas. Ideas flew from all sides. And there's one thing that is remarkable, even from the labor side, and that is Nigeria. We are looking at the peace, progress, and stability of Nigeria. And that is what is paramount. We cannot go into any details now because talks are still ongoing. However, Joa Jero, president of NLC and his counterpart in Trade Union Congress, TUC, Festus of Sifo, said no consensus was reached at the meeting. The organized labor said the meeting would convene or reconvene after they have met with their members at the date yet to be fixed. Look, as far as labor is concerned, we do have a consensus in this meeting. You don't put the, the partner, you don't put, ask him to negotiate on that gunpoint. If we agree for a meeting by two today, and in the morning you come up with price modulation, how can you fix price in a deregulated market? The prayers of NLC is that we go back to status quo, negotiate, think of alternatives, and all the effects, and how to manage the effects this action is going to have on the people. If it is an action that must... There is nothing that has been concluded. That is why we are reconvening. So there was nothing that was concluded. So that is why we will reconvene uh, again. If we had met before, yeah, I mean, before now, we could have uh, proposed a lot of things. Just as the CNG has said, we have experts in our midst who could have proffered some solution. The petrol subsidy removal has long plagued past administrations as they attempted, albeit unsuccessfully, to eliminate it. In his inaugural address on Monday, Tinubu said the petrol subsidy is gone and that his administration would discontinue it. His statement was met with pushback from organized labor. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.